in calling now there's quite a bit of technique in this song first of all the child should know the names of the white keys pretty clearly and quickly uh, again the right hand plays the top line and the left hand will play the bottom line right hand left hand etc okay uh, they're going to put their three finger on G and they're going to connect so they have to know where E is and it's back and forth so having them just try that for a few minutes back and forth and connecting it tight in other words not like that you want to avoid disconnecting now also they're learning to cross over their thumb in piano that is the only note you can cross over that is only the only finger you can cross over your thumb okay so when they play G E G E they're climbing over their thumb to middle C take the thumb out of the way immediately after the finger reaches C watch again see the thumb comes out right away the next line G E is the same now D is right next door yes I hear Continue right hand only, climb over. Now the last line is called finger substitution. They're going to start with G with their third finger and they have to change to the number one finger which is the thumb. And the reason for that is if they stay on the three finger and play the next notes they have no finger left for C and this is a mortal sin. You never want to allow them to cross over another finger on the piano. So finger substitution and have them practice three, one. Again, three, one, right next. Now here's another thing. They will always go to their three finger, but we need two. Two, three, four. All right, now with the left hand, it's just a simple new chord. They know this chord, they know this chord, but now they're playing C and E together. It's going to play with the G at the same time. Then it's going to hold down to the end of the measure without playing again. Only this hand keeps moving. This hand stays down, plays again here, and so forth. One more thing now is that they have to know where two G's down is. Middle C is here, one G down, two G's down. So now have them practice C chord, moving to G. Practice again, C chord, moving to G. Now notice that G is going to come up twice there and there. So have them ready to go and to know where that G is. Okay. Now strike together, chord with the G, hold it down while the right hand plays, climb over and strike together. start again and also be sure that they don't try to do this they pick up the wrist and start G again right next door but hold that until the G is ready now climb over I'll do that line again without pausing get the G ready quickly now the next line is like the first line line. G's together. G again with the thumb. Make sure two finger is ready. Finish. Hold the B until the chord is ready. All right, now I'll play it through one more time without talking. to remind you that when you're holding the thumb here and it's time to climb over to hang on to that thumb until you get over same thing going to D have the child be sure to hold on and not disconnect <laughs> 